go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. So I have decided to focus a little bit more on my seven stars, because I wasn't doing that. And I was still ranking up six stars to rank five. But with the recent summer sales uh, opening, and if you missed it, go check it out, I have a lot more options. So until I get a better feel for who I want to take up to rank three, I'm going to take up some champions to rank two. And I have three that I want to take up to rank two. And I want you guys to guess. So I'm looking here at my seven-star rank one champions all right and so i'm going to show you guys these champions here all right any of them can go to rank two and i am going to take up three of these two of them i have the resources to do one of them I'll have to use the one to two uh, rank up gem. All right. So that is my seven star rank one roster. So those are the champions that you have to select from who you think I'm going to take up. All right. So go ahead and pause the video and go leave a comment. We are now about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Guardian. So recently, uh, Kabam Jax left uh, Kabam, and he gave us a parting gift. His parting gift was a code for a free seven star if you were of the progression level um i think it's paragon or higher you got a seven star um i think uncollected may have gotten a six star i'm not sure about the lower um progression levels but i was able to get the seven star since i'm valiant and i already had guardian and he was already awakened so this gave me another 26 now back when i got guardian i said people sleep on guardian but one of the things that i really wanted um to have guardian ranked up would be his sig level he needs a higher sig level i run the recoil masteries he does really good when he has a higher sig level so i vowed that i would take him up when I got some more SIGs on him. Well, here we are. He is now SIG 40, and he's ready for a rank two. Will I take him to rank three? I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of things that uh, I'm thinking about, but he is a candidate for rank three because one of the criteria that I, I want for my rank threes is not only do I want them awakened, but for right now, I want them to have a reason to have a high SIG, you know? All right, next one is going to be... Doc Bruce Banner, 
belted by gamma rays turns into the Hulk. Ain't he unglamour rays? Anyway, so if you guys know me at all, you know that Hulk is my favorite Marvel character from when I was young. I grew up with Hulk. He's iconic. People know about Hulk even if they're not into comic books. Even if they don't read comics or anything, they know about Hulk. All right? And when I was looking over this game and I saw Marvel, I looked and said, can I play Hulk? That's all I cared about when I was first starting this game. And I started playing it. And I was opening these crystals, hoping to get a Hulk. And initially, I didn't realize it, but um, he wasn't in the regular basic crystals. I didn't know how it worked. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get Hulk. I didn't get Hulk for a while. And in fact, I think the first time I got Hulk was a free gift. They gave Hulk away to everyone as like a three-star, I think. I think that's the first time. And when I became uncollected, I had to use Daredevil. But when I went to explore it later on, I had a four-star Hulk. And that's who I used to explore um, that chapter for the collector. Okay. So there we go. Hulk is now ranked two. And you can see, I could take him to rank three. All right, next one is going to be Wolverine Weapon X. That's right. Y'all knew it was coming. Now, notice I do not have the resources to take him up. That's why I waited, because he gets the rank one to two gem. Perfect, right? I had the resources to take the other two up, so I used my resources. And now I didn't have the resources for him. Take him up. You guys remember when he was the only champion I did not have in any form? And then we got the five star and the six star. And I did take the six star up. And then the summer sales, thanks to some uh, very generous folks, I was able to get all the milestones and get Weapon X as a seven star. Lovely. So, of course, I had to take him up. Any of these champions, by the way, are eligible for a rank three. I can take any of them to rank three. One of the things that I'm thinking about is if they need a high sig, I have some of those champions that I did not choose to take to rank two. I have them as six stars, rank five, SIG 200, and it's much easier to do that, right? So for now, I'm going to focus or prioritize champions that are awakened and that uh, benefit from their SIG so that I'm not, I don't feel bad putting SIG stones into them uh, when they are rank three, all right? So that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking uh, right now for my rank three champions. Guardian is definitely an option. Um, if I can now see Weapon X, who knows when I'm going to awaken him. He doesn't even need to be awakened. His awakened ability is, is nice uh, for offense, but for defense, he doesn't need to be awakened. So who knows? And if you watched when I showed you my roster, you would have seen that Guardian has that little symbol showing that he's in war. So my rank one Guardian was on defense. He just got stronger. He's higher SIG and higher ranking now. Um, and Weapon X, he is, he is pretty cool especially with the apocalypse uh, on the team. Make this guy a uh, horseman, he rocks. And now, for some reason, I didn't realize that Odin's pre-fights can go on anybody. For some reason, I was thinking that it was only Cosmics. So imagine Weapon X 
with the Odin pre-fights and being a horseman. We're going to try that out. We got to. We got to do it. Um, probably during the um, event quest, uh, I may do that. I may bring in um, Weapon X and Apocalypse and Odin. All right, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.